Episode 4 begins with Ghoul and Lucy. They were passing by a West Side medical clinic. There they heard someone's shouting. They decided to check it out. There they find another ghoul who says his name is Roger. Roger and Ghoul know each other. Rogers asks the ghoul, You out for that bounty too? Ghoul replied, Yes. Roger is having weird seizures. Ghoul says to Roger, You are turning feral. Rogers says, Maybe, and asks Ghoul, Does he have any vials? Just one little puff, and I'll be back on my feet. Here, vials is a chemical that prevents ghouls from becoming feral. Ghoul says, I am sorry, Roger, I'm all out. Ghoul distracts him with old memories and suddenly shoots him. After that, Ghoul pull out Roger's tooth and starts picking Roger apart for scrap. Lucy gets disgusted. She asked him that why he killed Roger. Then Ghoul says, what did you say your name was? She replied, Lucy McLean. The name McLean sounds familiar to the Ghoul. Either way, he just tells her, look, Lucy McLean, the way we survive up here is a bit different than the way you survived down. Then Ghoul starts eating Roger and the ghoul content with all this until Lucy insults him by saying, How do you live like this? Why you do these things? After listening her, ghoul says one good question deserves another. Why am I doing all the work? And he makes her start to skin Roger. In next scene we see, vault dwellers are preparing for the election of overseer. Reg and Woody are the candidates for the position of overseer. Then we see Norman, who is upset, the councilwoman comes to meet him and says, I know this is a tough time for you, so control yourself and don't take any wrong steps. On the other hand, Lucy doesn't know where she is going with the ghoul. The ghoul keeps moving on. Ghoul stops to fill his water bag. Lucy is very thirsty. She looks into the water, and it was very dirty, but out of thirst, she drinks it. After seeing this, ghoul says, now you're getting it. Then Ghoul starts coughing up a storm. Lucy sees the opportunity and tries to escape. But Ghoul lassos her up and pulled towards him. He tries to tie her up, but she bites his finger off. Then Ghoul decides a finger for a finger and cuts Lucy's finger off. And says, now we are the same. Then we see they arrive to an old supermarket. Using a speaker box, the Ghoul is able to talk somebody who's inside for a transaction. Ghoul says he wants two months' vile supplies in exchange for a mint-conditioned female. The person inside agrees and told him to send her in. Lucy don't wants to go, but Ghoul forces her to go through and says, go on. Lucy went inside. Ghoul is losing his strength and he falls. Lucy finds a robot inside. His name was Mr. Handy. Mr. Handy welcomes her and says, I assume you lost a finger, so let's get you taken care of. And it asks Lucy to follow him. Mr. Handy picks one of the finger from his closet, and it fixes Lucy's finger. Lucy is really thankful for it. She says, Mr. Handy, you know I thought I was here to be a sex slave. Mr. Handy says, what? No, that's ridiculous. I would never do that. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. Then she starts getting really worried. Before she can even react, she's shot and knocked out. In next scene, we see Norman. He brings food to the prisoners, as he was ordered to do. Then he saw a prisoner. Prisoner asks him what you are looking. Norman says, a murderer in a cage who killed innocent peoples of Vault 32. The prisoner tells him, I don't know what the people in Vault 32 were up to, but they were not innocent. The prisoner's words made him think. Norman tried to access Vault 32 records, but it was denied. Then Norman visits to Vault 33 to meet Ched. They both went to Vault 32. Norman says to Ched that one of the raiders told him there was something up in 32. They started searching. They found a dead body. By gathering the information from its device, Norman says the last biosignal detected was two years ago. Then he began to investigate further. They saw many dead bodies. Some died on chair, some was killed. Ched says, so if they were already dead when raiders got here, who killed them? He says, it looks like they strangled each other with their hands. It just doesn't make any sense. Then Norman finds a message written on wall which says, we know the truth. In next scene, we see Mr. Handy is wheeling her over to somewhere. While moving, Lucy starts to wake up and she passes by a bunch of cages where there are human beings in there, although most of them were ghouls. Then Lucy reaches to the two stoners who were in charge. 
Mr. Handy says that our new arrival has been arrived, and there is the demand of sixty vials. The stoner says okay, and tell Mr. Handy to harvest her and prepare the organs for the next pickup. Mr. Handy brings her to operation chamber and prepares for her organ harvest. But Lucy fights back. Using a defibrillator, she's able to avoid Mr. Handy to cut her. Then she rewired it to work for her. Now with this Mr. Handy, she walks up to the two guys who were in charge and tells them to let her go. And also says to release everyone whom they caged, else she will shoot them with something called Brexo, which will kill them painfully. With no other choices, they free the hostages. But they don't free the feral ones. Lucy says, I told you to free them all. The stoners tried to tell Lucy, that's going to be a mistake, but Lucy doesn't want to hear it. So they free them as well. Unaware of feral ones, Lucy realized her mistake, and she hides. The feral ones attack the stoners. They also fights them, shoot them, and they all kill each other. There is though one feral ghoul left, it's a woman. Lucy tries to talk to her, but it doesn't work because she is feral. When the women attacked Lucy, Lucy's forced to kill her. This is the first time when Lucy actually killed someone. Then we see Norman and Ched are investigating further. They saw dead bodies hanging as they killed themselves. Then they entered to Overseer's office. There they see that the dead body has been tied up. Norman says it still don't explain how raiders got in. Ched also finds a message written on the walls which says, Death to management. But none of these explains how these people died. And most important question was how the raiders got in. So Norman checks the log and finds out that the vault was open from the outside. The only way to do that is via a pit boy. And when he digs further, he finds out that the pit boy that opened the door was his mother's, Rose McLean. In last scene, we see Lucy. When she walks out from that supermarket, she's different. She's changed. Then we see Ghoul is laying on the ground. He's in rough shape. He desperately needs vials. Lucy asks him, if you don't get these, you turn into feral. That's how it works? Ghoul replied, yes. Then Lucy says, I may end up looking like you, but I'll never be like you. And she gives him a bunch of vials. And Lucy moves on. Ghoul enters in supermarket. He was desperate, thirsty, starving. He was taking as much as vials he could take. He finds a very large amount of vials, which was stored by the stoners. He feels very happy. Then he finds a record and plays it. It was of a movie. His movie when he used to be called as Cooper Howard. So this was the end of episode 4. Hope you liked it, and if you did, then hit the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing the channel. It will help me a lot. Episode 3 has been detailedly explained. If you haven't watched it, kindly visit the channel. Stay tuned for the explanation of episode 5. Thanks for watching.